Okay, guys. Thank you so much for connecting. I'm so sorry for the minutes of delay, but I was in another class. So thank you so much for your patience and thank you so much for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for connecting to the class. Now, guys, we're going to start with this. Thank you so much for connecting. And let me start asking you over here the first question so we can start working and we can start practicing and we can start speaking over here. So my first question for you will be about this. What did you, let me see, I will change it. What are you doing right now? Now, if I repeat, please, what are you doing right now? What, what are, are you doing, doing right, now? right now? That's correct. What are you doing right now? Over here, tell me, tell me, tell me, what are you doing right now? Tell me, tell me, tell me, what are you doing? What are you doing right now? For example, in my personal case, I will say I am working right now. Now, what about you? Tell me, what are you doing right now? You have 30 seconds to write your sentence in your notebook and tell me, what are you doing right now? Please, please, please. 30 seconds, go. Tell me, tell me, tell me, what are you doing right now? What are you doing right now? Please, please, please. In the meantime, you have 30 seconds. Okay, let me check your answers over here. And let's go with Madeline. Madeline, tell me, what are you doing right now? I'm taking care of my children. Okay, I am taking care of my children. Mm -hmm. Repeat, I am taking care of my children. I am taking care of my children. Thank you. What about you, Selma? What are you doing right now? I am working uh, all day. I am working. I am working. All day. All day. Thank you so much. What about you, Wendy? What are you doing right now? I am learning English class or English language. Thank you. What about you, Elisa Adeli? What are you doing right now? I am studying right now. Thank you so much. What about you, Sarah Elisa? What are you doing right now? I'm listening to my teacher advice. Cool, thank you so much. What about you, Jenny Carolina? What are you doing right now? I'm taking notes of my English class. Thank you so much. What about you, Karen Elizabeth? What are you doing right now? Hi, teacher. Hi. I was at my children's school because we are preparing the expo. Well, thank you. What about you, Jose? Tell me, what are you doing right now? I am listening to uh, the class and, and I am speaking with you. Thank you so much. What about you, Michelle? What are you doing right now? I'm studying English right now. Thank you so much. What about you, Neftali? What are you doing right now? I'm in my English class. Thank you so much. What about you, Maria? What are you doing right now? Right now, I am in English class. Thank you. What about you, Benjamin? What are you doing right now? I am here in the class listening to my teacher. Thank you. What about you, Oscar Alexander? What are you doing right now? I am working right now. I'm taking my English class too. Thank you so much. What about you... Carolina Rivera, what are you doing right now? No, Carolina. Okay, no, Carolina. What about you? Let me see. Roberto Eduardo, what are you doing right now? 
No, there. Okay. Let's continue then. Thank you so much for your comments. Thank you so much for your answers. Appreciate, appreciate. And let me go with this. Now, let me ask you what is your favorite kind of movies? Now, this is my second question for you. Now, everybody repeat this. What is your favorite kind of movie? What is your, your favorite, favorite kind, kind of, of movie? Move. That's correct. Movies. Now, everybody repeat one more time, please. Everybody repeat, repeat, repeat. What is your favorite kind of movie? What is, what is your favorite, favorite, favorite kind of, of, movie? of movies? Now, over here, let me go with my answer. And I will say um, my favorite kind of movies is what is my favorite kind my favorite kind of movies are the horror movies and the comedy movies and the comedy movies Not is... repeat, please. my favorite kind of movies are the horror movies and the comedy movies the comic movie. My Everybody, favorite my kind, kind of, of movies are movies, movies, horror movies, horror movies, horror movies, movies and, the and the comedy movies. movies. That's correct. What about you, Tian? What is your favorite kind of movies? Please, please, please. Tell me, tell me, tell me. What is your favorite kind of movies? You got 30 seconds. Write your answers in your notebook. Write your sentences in your notebook. And tell me, what is your favorite kind of movies? Please, please, please. 30 seconds. Go. Tell me, tell me, tell me. What is your favorite kind of movie? Please, please, please. Tell me, tell me, tell me what is your favorite kind of movie, please, please. You got 15 seconds. Tell me, tell me, tell me what is your favorite kind of movie. You got 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Let me go and check your answers over here. So tell me, Marlene, what is your favorite kind of movie? My favorite kind of movies are comedy movies and action movies. Thank you so much. What about you, Benjamin? What is your favorite kind of movies? Yeah. My favorite kind of movie is cartoon. Cartoon movies. Cartoon. Cool. What about you, Wendy? What is your favorite kind of movie? My favorite kind of movies are the action movies and the suspense movies. Suspense movies. Cool. What about you, Elisa? What is your favorite kind of movie? My favorite kind of movie are the comedy movies and action movies. Thank you so much. What about you, Sara? What is your favorite kind of movie? My favorite kind of movies are action movies and romantic movies. Thank you so much. What about you, Stelma? What is your favorite kind of movie? My favorite kind of movies are the fiction and horror. Thank you so much. Movie. What about you, Jenny Carolina? What is your favorite kind of movie? My favorite kind of movies are comedy and action movies. Thank you so much. What about you, Jose? What is your favorite kind of movie? My favorite kind of movies is the action movies for example the last samurai thank you good job what about you karen elizabeth what is your favorite kind of movie my favorite kind of movie are comedy and cartoon movie and cartoon movies what about you michelle beatrice what is your favorite kind of movie my favorite kind of movies mm. are the romantic movies and the comedy movies Romantic and comedy. What about you, Roberto? What is your favorite kind of movie? My favorite kind of movies are, are action movies. Action yeah. movies. Cool. What yes. about you, Neftali? What is your favorite kind of movie? Well, my favorite kind of movies are the superhero. Super cool. Thank you so much. Appreciate. What about you, Maria? What is your favorite kind of movies? My favorite kind, kind of movie is comedy. Thank you. What about you, Ben? No, oh, sorry, Ben. I'm already participating. Oscar Alexander, what is your favorite kind of movie? No, Oscar Alexander. Okay. What about Carolina? What is your favorite kind of movie? No, Carolina over there. 
en Edgar Fernando, what is your favorite kind of movie? Edgar, Edgar. No Edgar over there. Okay, cool. Let me go with this then. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now let's continue with this, guys. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for your answers. I appreciate it a lot. You are doing super cool. You are doing super nice. So let me go with this. Now just let me continue with this. Now we are going to continue with the conversation over here. Just let me make, make the zoom. And let me go with this. Now let me go with this. And just let me play the audio. Just let me share with you the sound. Read and listen to a conversation at an art show. Teo, this is just great. I had no idea you had so much talent. Thank you. I mean it. Your work is very impressive. It's so nice of you to say that. I don't think I'm particularly talented. I just love to paint. Believe it or not, these were taken by Paul Johns. Your boss? How do you like that? They're really quite good. I know. He doesn't look like the artistic type, does he? No. I had no idea he took photos. I guess you can't always judge a book by its cover. Hey, this is an interesting piece. I kind of like it. You do? I find it a little weird, actually. But that's what makes it so fascinating. Well, to each his own. I guess I'm just not really into abstract art. Okay, let me go with this then. Thank you so much. And for your attention, and let's start practicing over here the pronunciation. So you are going to tell me to read, 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 read. Now let's go with my first volunteer. And let's start with Roberto Eduardo. Tell me to read, please. The conversation. Uh, okay, then it's the whole conversation, right? Yes, they call the first, I mean, charge, only this one. Okay. Uh, Lynn, Theo, this is just great. I have no idea you have so much talent. Theo, thank you. Uh, Lynn, I mean, I mean, your work is very impressive. Uh, Theo, this is so nice of you to say that. I don't think I am particularly, particularly talented. I just love to paint. Thank you so much. Now, I appreciate your comments over there and reading. Now, particularly and talented, talented, talented. That's the word. Now, Natalie, Partic come to read, please. Number one, teacher. Yes, number one only. Okay, two, these are just great. I have no idea you have so much talent. Thank you, I mean it. Your work is very impressive. It's so nice of you to say that I don't think in particular it's talent. I just love it to paint. Thank you, and let me go with Wendy. Wendy, come to read, please. Siempre primero. Yes, always the first. Theo, this is just great. I have no idea you have so much talent. Thank you. I mean it. Your work is very impressive. Mm -hmm. It's so nice of you to say that. I don't think I am particularly talented. I just love to paint. Thank you so much. I appreciate a lot. What about you, Elisa? Come to the root, please. Uh, Theo, this is just great. I had no idea you have so much talent. Thank you. I mean, it's your work is very impressive. It is so nice of you to say that. I don't think I'm particularly talent. I just okay. love to paint. Thank you so much. Remember, talented. Talented. What about you, that, Elisa? I'm about to read. Thank 
Teo, this is just great. I had no idea you had so much talent. Thank you. I mean it. You, your work is very impressive. It's so nice of you to say that. I don't think I am particularly talented. I just love to paint. Thank you so much. I appreciate it a lot. Let me go with my next volunteer. Marlene, come to read. The second picture, I mean, the second chart, believe it or not. Okay. Believe it or not, these were taken by Paul Jones. Your boss, how do you like that? They're really quite good. I know he doesn't look like the artist, artistic type, does he? No, I had no idea. He took photos. I guess you can always use, use a book by its cover. Thank you so much. What about you, Selma? Number two, believe it or not. Believe it or not, this were taken by Paul Jones, your boss. How do you like that? They really cute good. I know that doesn't look like the artistic type that's he. No, I had no idea. He talk. For us, I guess you can't, cannot always. You get a book by its cover. Judge a book by its cover. Now let me go with the Jenny Carolina. Believe it or not. Believe it or not, these were taken by Paul Jones. Your boss. How do you like that? They really quite good. I know he doesn't look like the artistic type, does he? No, I had no idea. Idea. Uh, he he took photos. I guess you can always judge a book by this by its cover. Thank you so much. What about you, Jose? Can you read, please? Teo, believe, believe it or not, the first one. Believe, believe it or not, these were taken by Paul Jones. Your boss, how do you like that? They are they're really quiet good. Teo, I know. He doesn't look like the artist type. Does it does he? Does he? No, I had no idea. They took photos. I guess you can't always judge a book by its cover. Thank you so much. Let's go with let me see. Karen Ibet. Come on to read, believe it or not. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not. Pay attention no, over there, Karen. Now okay. let's go with my next volunteer over there. Neptali Antonio, come to read. Believe it or not. Believe it or not, this were taken by Paul Jones. To boss, how do you like that? They're they're really quit good. I know he doesn't like he doesn't look like the artist type. Does he? No, I had no idea he took photos. I guess you can't always judge a bug by this cover. Thank you so much. Maria Santos, tell me please with the next one. Hey, this is an interesting piece. Believing it or uh, not. Number, number three. Hey, this is an interesting piece. Hey, this is an interesting piece. I keep, I can of like X. You do, I find it's a little way where actually. But that was made is a fancy night thing. Where to wish his all I was. I am Jones, not really into extra art. Well, thank you so much. 
Tell me, Benjamin, please. Hey, this is an interesting piece. Hey, this is an interesting piece. I kind of like it. You do? I find it a little weird, actually. But that's what makes it so fascinating. Well, to each his own, I guess I'm just not really into abstract art. Oh, well, thank you so much. What about you, Jamilet? Uh, sorry, Janet Carolina. Tell me with K, hey, this is an interesting piece. No, Carolina over there. Okay, Edgar, tell me with K, hey, this is an interesting piece, please. Edgar Fernando. No, Edgar Fernando in the class. Okay, now, if you don't answer, guys, I'm so sorry, but I will remove you from the class. If you are here, it's because you, it is supposed that you are going to participate. So please, you need to activate your microphones and remember that your cameras needs to be on as well. Remember that you are over here to speak not to be in silent or quiet. So I let me continue with this. Teacher. Okay, let's go. Uh, hey, this is an interesting piece. I kind of like it. You do? I'm finding it a little weird, actually. But that's what makes it so fascinating. Well, to each his own, I guess I'm just not really into abstract art. That's correct. Thank you so much. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you so much for your reading. Thank you so much for reading the text. I appreciate it a lot. Now, let me go with the words over here. Let me hear this. We have. Okay, let me go with the next one. Just give me one second. Let me minimize this because I had a problem with the screen. And let me continue with this. So, just give me one with the mouse. Okay, let's continue with this. So for today's class, guys, we are going to start talking about passive voice. But the first thing that we need to know about the passive voice, guys, first we need to understand what is an active voice and then we are going to know what is a passive voice. So for this, let me stop sharing. And let me share with you what is an active voice sentence over here. Just give me one second. What is it? What is it? Here it is. Okay, let me go with my picture over here. No, it is not this one. This one it is. So first, guys, something that we need to understand about the passive and active voice is this. The active voice will be a normal sentence. For example, I read an interesting novel. So this is a normal sentence in simple present. Now everybody repeat, please. I read an interesting novel. I read an interesting novel. Now, this is simple present. And this is, as I mentioned, normal, 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 super normal sentence. Now, then we have the present continuous over there. And over here it says, let me clean my screen. And it says, I am reading an interesting novel. I am reading an interesting novel. Now, this is present continuous. And now I got the simple past. I read an interesting novel last night. Sorry, I read my mistake because it's fast. I read an interesting novel last night. I read, I read, I read an interesting, an interesting novel, novel, last, interesting novel last, night. last night. Now, this is, as I mentioned, active voice. So in this case, guys, something that you need to clarify over here that the active voice, active voice is a normal and traditional sentence. So, and we are going to work with the present and past. Present, present progressive, and past. So over here, a normal sentence is simple present is, I do, my homework or you can say i clean my house 
Not about Rupert Grace. I do my homework. I clean my house. I do I my do homework. My homework. I, I clean, clean my, my, my house. house. That's correct. Let's go with this one. Another example. I did my homework and I clean. Sorry, sorry. This is not simple pass. My mistake. Let me go with the next one over here. I did. I did my homework. <laughs> And I cleaned my house. Now, the better repeat, please. I did my homework and I cleaned my house. I, I did, did my homework and I cleaned my house. Now, this is the simple past active voice or normal sentence. With the present progressive, I will say, I am doing my homework my homework and I am cleaning I am cleaning my house so I am doing my homework and I am cleaning my house so everybody repeat please I am doing my homework and I am cleaning my house now, something that you need to keep in mind, guys, is that a normal sentence, we have a subject over here, we need a subject, we need the verb, and we need the complement, always. So this will be active voice. Now, are we clear with the active voice sentences? Yes or no? Are we clear? Uh huh. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Cool. 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 Thank you so much. Let me share this in the group. Just give me one second. What is your group? What is your group? And here it is. Okay. There you have the information. Something that you need to keep in mind as well that for passive voice, so we can start talking about passive voice. We need this, and I will make this like this. So for passive voice, passive voice is about, sorry, normal sentence. So over here is normal. Now, this is a, a sentence, a sentence in which the object goes first. For example, what is the object over here? What is the complement? Homework, this is the object. So if you want to say these guys, I will say him. My homework, my homework is done by me. So that will be the sentence. Now everybody repeat this. My homework is done by me. My homework is done by me. That's correct. Another example. My house is cleaned by me. Now, please, please. My house is cleaned by me. My house is cleaned by me. That's correct. So this is about? Passive voice. So let me delete this. So we, we need more space over here. So this is about present. Present, present, present. So over here, guys, we're always going to need the object plus the verb plus the verb in past participle plus participle plus by plus the person or the subject, plus the subject. So let me go with this. Another example over here, I was saying, I, and the sentence was, I did my homework. This is present, right? The present progressive will be like this. Present, progressive, progressive. Now this is like this. My homework is being doing by me. Now, everybody repeat, please. My homework is being doing by me. 
My homework, my homework my is being doing by, me. by me. That's correct. Me. Another example. My house is being cleaning. Is being cleaning by me. Sorry, sorry. By me. Now, everybody repeat, please. My house is being cleaning by me. My, my house, house, my house, house is, being is being cleaning by, by, me. by me. That's correct. And over here, I will say pass, pass, pass. Give me one second, and my example will be this one. My homework was done by me. Now, repeat, please. My homework was done by me. My, my homework, homework was, was done by me. That's correct. Another example. My house was cleaned by me. Not about repeat. Please, my house was cleaned by me. My house, my was, house cleaned was cleaned, cleaned, cleaned by, me. By, me. by me. So this is about passive voice. And as I mentioned, you need first the object of the sentence. And you can tell me about the process over there. So let me go with this. Let me share with you the information over there. And let me share with you this picture so you can get more. I mean, you can get more examples about the passive voice. So there you have. So over here, just let me clean my screen. We can get more examples here, here, here. And it says, now I read an interesting novel. This is present. Now the passive voice in, in present will be an interesting novel. Is read. But, sorry, it's read by me. Everybody repeat, please. An interesting novel is read by me. An interesting, An interesting novel, novel is read, novel is read, novel read, is read by, by me. me. That's correct. Another example. An interesting novel is being re read, sorry, is being read by me. An interesting, An interesting novel, novel is, is being read by me. By me. And the last one, an interesting novel was read last night. An interesting novel was read, was read last night. Now, this is about the passive voice. Remember, you put the object first, and then you give me the example of the things over there. So for this, guys, we just need to memorize, and we need to pay attention to the sentence. What is the object? What is the subject? What is the verse? So we can practice. So for this, let me continue with the book. And let me stop sharing. Let me share with you my screen here. So it says, most of the sentences are in active, over to, in active voice. The subject of a sentence performs the action of the verb in the passive voice. The receiver of the action is the subject. For example, we have active voice, architect Frank, designed the museum in Bilbao, Spain. And over here we're saying, the museum in Bilbao, Spain was designed by whom? By Frank, the architect. So that will be the, the example over there. So in this case, from the passive voice, guys, with a form of the B and the past participle of the verb, for example, these bases are made in Korea. The museum was built in 1990s. The Mona Lisa has been shown in the Labor Museum since 1797. So over here, you just need to switch the order of the sentence and you need to use the verb in past participle and the verb to be. So you just need to have this. Just let me take a screenshot so you can have this information. And let me go with the group, sorry, over here. So this is the group. Okay, there you have. So right now, what are you going to do, guys? Super easy. You are going to give me one example. Yes, one example using the passive voice. For example, over here, let me grab with my example and I will say. Let me go with this, and I will say over here, my uh, car was driving by me. 
Louder, but repeat, please. My car was driving by me. My, my car, car was, was driving, driving by, me. By, me. by me. Now, this is my example using the passive voice. Now, you give me one example of active and passive voice. Let me give you the active voice over here. This is passive. Passive, passive, passive. And the active voice, active voice will be this one. I drive. Sorry, it's past. I drove my car. My car. Drove, drove, drove. Drove. Sorry, drove my car. Now, I drove my car. That's the active sentence. And the past, it would be my car was driven by me. Now, would you give me one example, please? Using active and passive voice. I will give you one minute so you can write your sentence. You have one minute. You can start right now. Go. Tell me, tell me, tell me one example, please, please, using the active voice and the passive voice, please, as well. Give me, give me, give my, me one example, please, please, in, my your, team in your notebook. Well, oh, oh, too wrong by me? In your notebook. I will ask you later. I mean, write your sentence in your notebook. Okay, just give me one second, please. One moment. Okay, let me go and check your sentences. I'm so sorry for the delay. Just let me go with this. Let me stop sharing. Let me go with this. Let me go over here. And let me check your answers over here. Now tell me your example, please. Tell me. Give me your example using the active and passive voice. Please explain. My washing machine was washing by me. Mm, no. Mm. no, no, no. In this case, remember, what is the active sentence? Uh -huh. What is your example? Using active voice. Selma, your example. Uh-huh. Activate your microphone, your example. You need to speak. Uh -huh. What is your sentence? Um, no, say, teacher. Don't say it, no, say, because that doesn't exist. You are an, I mean, you are an old person, so you need to speak. Ya está grande. Hable. Tell me your example. Uh-huh. We are not going to continue with the class if you don't speak. I'm so sorry, but you're not pequeños. So I speak. 
Selma, give me your example, please. Five, four, three, two, one. Teacher, if you want, so, I can give you my example. No, antes que continuemos, Selma me tiene que dar el example. Ya no estamos pequeños, deme el example. Aquí no tengo niños de cinco años para que me digan no sé y que no hablen. Active el micrófono y me dice la oración, please. Go. Selma, active el micrófono y dígame la oración. Mm. Uh. Uh -huh. Tell me the sentence. So, no vamos a continuar con la clase antes que usted hable. Lo siento mucho por los demás, pero si usted no habla, por gusto estamos aquí. Ajá, de mega la oración. Les juro, yo no voy a continuar con la clase hasta que me dé la oración. Dejemos esa actitud, por favor, y deme la oración. She's cleaning with me. One more time, repeat the sentence. Repeat otra vez la oración, no la entendí. She's cleaning my house with me. She's cleaning the house. By me, no, because it's active voice and it is not passive. Now let's go with the passive. If the sentence is she's cleaning over here. She's cleaning the cows. The passive voice will be the cows is cleaned by me. So that will be the sentence. Now, everybody repeat, please. She's cleaning the cows. She's cleaning the house. The cows is cleaned by me. The house is cleaned by me. Thank you. Now, Jenny, your example active and passive. I use my cell phone. Uh -huh. And the passive? The cell phone was used by me. Oh, well, that's a good example. What about you, Jose, your example? Active and passive? I cook by me. Mm -mm. No? No. Now, your sentence, you say, I cook by me. So I imagine that the active voice it will be, I cook my dinner, for example. Okay. So, I, I cook my dinner, this is active voice. The passive I will be, the dinner or my dinner, my dinner is cooked. Okay. By me. By me. So that would be, my dinner is cooked by me okay repeat don't say okay my dinner is cooked by me my dinner is cooked by me thank you now roberto give me an example active and passive okay the the voice active uh, is the active she, voice the active voice is she may open the window okay she may open the window and the passive the window may be opening by her. May be opened by her. By her, yes, yes, teacher. Thank you so much. Sara Elisa, your example. I did the laundry. Mm -hmm. The laundry was done by me. Yes, thank you so much. What about you? Give me an example, Marlene. I take the exam. And the passive, the exam was taken by me. Perfect. Thank you so much. What about you, Elisa? Your example. Elisa, Elisa, Elisa. My cell phone, que comprar, no sé cómo es en participo. One more time. Repeat the sentence. Active. Mm. 
Um, my my breakfast is cooked by by me. Mm -hmm. But that's passive. What about the active voice? I cook my breakfast. Mm, a little bit better. Thank you. What about you, Wendy? Your example. Active voice. I ask my computer at night. Passive and voice. Passive. My computer at night was used by me. Thank you. What about you, Karen Elizabeth? Your example, active and passive. I cook my lunch. My lunch is cooked by me. It's cooked by me. Co cooked by me. Thank you, Michelle Beatriz. I played in the piano. The piano was played by me. I played the piano. The piano was played by me. It's Pronunciation. By me. Neftali, active and passive. Okay. The fire destroyed the house. Active voice. In the passive voice, the house was destroyed by fire. Thank you. Maria Santos, your example. Use my cell phone. Uh, my cell phone was used by me. Oh, well, thank you, Benjamin Alejandro. Your example. I listen to the teacher's class. The teacher's class is listened by me. Yes. What about you, Oscar? Your example. Active voice. Uh, I turn on the TV. Passive voice, the TV was turning on by me. Thank you so much. What about you, Carolina Rivera, your example? No, Carolina Burger. Okay, Edgar Fernando, your example? No, Edgar Fernando, okay. Let me continue with this. Thank you so much for your examples. Thank you so much for your time. You are doing good. You are doing nice over there. And let me go with this. Let me continue with the exercises over here. Now, over here, let's go and practice here with the sentences. And just let me open the exercise here. Now, it says, we are going to rewrite each active sentence into the passive voice. And over here, we are going to include the by. For example, they built my house in 1976. What is the passive voice? My house was building. Okay, my house was building. Are you sure? No. My house. My house. Was built. Was built. Built. In nineteen seventy six. By an architect, for example. By an architect. An architect. Thank you so much. Someone made this soup yesterday. What is the passive? Mm -hmm. What is the passive voice? Someone this, made this the soup. The soup was made by someone. By someone. Yes. Yesterday. Yesterday. Okay, let me put it like this. They found the Titanic at the bottom of the ocean in 1985. The ocean, the Titanic, the Titanic, uh huh. Titanic. Uh, uh, the Titanic, the Titanic, what found? What found? What found? Was found at the bottom of the at ocean. The bottom, bottom of the ocean. Ocean. In 1985. 1985. Thank you so much. Now the next one. They closed our favorite restaurants last year. 
the restaurant. The restaurant. Our our, our, our favorite, favorite restaurant. Our, our favorite, favorite restaurant was closed. Was closed. Was closed. Last year. The last, last year. Last year. That's correct. Thank you so much. Now, next one. Someone cleans the hotel rooms every day. The, the, the hotel room was cleaned by someone every day. By someone every day. Every day. Thank you so much. Okay, next one. They greet visitors with hugs and kisses when they arrive. When they arrive. When they arrive. Mm -hmm. When the visitors arrive. Visitors. This is the visitors, object. Visitors. 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 Uh -huh. All right. No, what visitors are, 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 are greeted. Right. With Teacher, what is the meaning of greed? Greed. Greed. Greed with greed. Like, yes. What? That will be and kisses when, when they arrived. Now, in this case, it says visitors are greeted with hugs and kisses when they arrived. And that will be the sentence in passive. Now, next one. They grow their new musical in two months. They grow their new musical in only two months. What is the sentence? The new musical, 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 musical was, was written, 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 was written in only, in only, in only two, two, two months. months. Mount. That's correct. And let's go with the last one over here. Someone dropped off the blue convertible this morning. The blue, the blue convertible. The blue convertible. Convertible. Dropped off. by the blue convertible. By someone this morning. this morning. That's correct. This morning. Now let me go with the sentences. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And now let me go with this. Let me stop sharing because I will take the attendance. Yeah. Let me go with the attendance. So let me go. And let me go over here. So let's go with this. Benjamin Alejandro. <coughs> no, Benjamin Alejandro. I'm here. Oh, yes, he's there. Edgar Fernando. Edgar, Edgar, Edgar. No Edgar? Okay, no Edgar over here. Elisa Arely? I'm here, teacher. Thank you. What about Giselle Marie? Not here. Janet Carolina? Janet Carolina Rivera? Not here. Eh, Joselino? Present, teacher. Thank you so yes, much. Caring a little bit? Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Yvette. Present teacher. Maria Santos Lopez. Present teacher. Marlene Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Michelle Beatriz. Present teacher. Thank you. Natalie Antonio. Present teacher. Oscar Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you. Roberto Eduardo. My present teacher. Thank you. Sara Elisa. Present. Thank you, Selma Jamilet. No Selma Jamilet. No Selma. Okay. Wendy Cecilia. Present teacher. Thank you, Jenny Carolina. Oops, Present sorry, teacher. Jenny. Yes, when and Selma not here. I'm so sorry. Let me put it this. Now let me confirm just to keep it up. And let me go with Selma Jamilet. 
not here. Eh, Janet Carolina. Teacher in the her. chat writing you present Janet You Carolina. need to speak, guys. I mean, I cannot be like reading your messages and you are not here only by listening to the class. I'm so sorry, you need to participate. Now let me go with this. Janet, Janet, Janet Carolina, let me see. Teacher. Hey, tell me. And when uh, I work, for example, and uh, no, don't listen, or only this, uh, listen the class. In that case, I understand that you are working, but remember that this is English. You need to speak. And if you don't speak just by listening, you are not going to, I mean, practice your English. So you need to be realistic and you'll be, I mean, you need to be honest with yourself. Just by listening, you are not going to practice anything. So it's like, just I listen and what happened? Nothing. So you need to speak. You need to produce. If you really want to improve and you really want to learn, you need to speak. There is not only, all, I mean, there is not only more ways on that. I understand that you are working, believe me, because this is my job too, but you need to speak. And I have to be honest with you. If you really want to speak in English, you need to speak. That's the only way. If we don't speak, it's like a waste of time if you are not like speaking because you just listen, but yes, but with, with, what will happen with your content? What will happen with the things that you are understanding? So that's, that's why it's important that you speak. And I understand, but you need to make the effort of speaking every single class or participate every single class. And I will say this in Spanish. Hay muchos aquí por no decir nombres, que solo se conectan y no contestan. Nunca. Y uno está ahí, repita, hable, 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 nunca contestan. So yo understand. entiendo que están trabajando, pero sí necesito que practiquen y necesito que seamos responsables en esto de estar hablando. So please, si nos metimos al curso es por eso, porque necesitamos aprender y necesitamos hablar. So let's go with that. Thank you so much. Just to check the last time over here, the attendance. Edgar Fernando. No, Edgar Fernando. And let's go with Giselle Marie. Not here, right? Okay, let me confirm over here, the attendance. Let me go with the last part of the exercise. And so we can say goodbye. Now everybody repeat after me, please. They built my house in 1970. They built my they house. Build my house. They, they built my, my house. They built my house in 1976. My house was built in 1976 by an architect. My house, house, house was built in 1976 by an architect. Someone made this soup yesterday. That's correct. Thank you so much. And let's go with this soup was made by someone yesterday. This soup was made by someone yesterday. Thank you so much. Appreciate, appreciate. Now the last sentence. They found the Titanic at the bottom of the ocean. They found the Titanic at the bottom of the ocean. Yes, in 1985. And the last example, pass it, boys. The Titanic was found at the bottom of the ocean in 1985. The Titanic was found at the bottom of the ocean in 1985. That's correct. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, this is about active and passive voice. So this is all to, about today's class, guys. Tomorrow, we are going to continue with the practice. And remember to work in your platform. Remember to work in your progress so you can keep practicing. Thank you so much for connecting. See you tomorrow. Have a wonderful night. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 B